want to know how you can support your baby to easily engage in your pelvis in the final few weeks of your pregnancy and how you can encourage dilation. Today I'm going to share how you can use a fabulous product called Evening Primrose Oil to do just that. First of all, let's talk about why we use Evening Primrose Oil. Mostly it's effective because it's high in prostaglandins and it contains omega-6 fatty acid. The prostaglandins soften the cervix to get it ripe and ready for dilation. They are naturally produced in higher amounts in the body in preparation for labour and delivery. The practice of using Evening Primrose Oil to encourage the start of labour has been around for a long time. It doesn't directly trigger the start of labour, but Evening Primrose Oil works by softening and ripening the cervix ready for labour. This then allows the baby's head to engage in the pelvis and encourages dilation. Whilst many midwives swear by this technique, please make sure that you check first with your care provider to make sure that this process is safe for you before you begin. So let's talk about how to do it. From 36 weeks gestation, take 1000 milligrams of evening primrose oil orally each day. This will help slowly ripen and soften your cervix but it won't cause you to go into preterm labour. From 38 weeks, you can increase your oral dosage to 2,000 milligrams. You can also begin to insert 2,000 milligrams of evening primrose oil vaginally before you go to bed each night. I don't recommend that you try this in the morning or you'll be leaking the oil all day. Probably not something you really want. Two common side effects of evening primrose oil are nausea or diarrhoea. If you experience either of these, reduce your dosage and talk to your LMC. If you found this video helpful, please share it on social media with other mums that you know that could also benefit from this information. And if you'd like to keep up to date with other useful information about pregnancy, birth and beyond, please subscribe below. <music>